incredible thing. Walking out onto the field just now, it was so electric. There was so much energy. I've been a huge MLB fan for a while, so. I was a huge Sox fan growing up. I went to tons of games at Fenway. I remember um, in like the 2000s when Noma and Pedro were on their streak and like we would count the Ks and I would sit in the bleachers with my friends and it was just incredible. We'd go after her like high school, we'd go check out a game and um, I went with my family a ton of times. It just meant the world to me. I went into the clubhouse and I didn't necessarily know you weren't allowed to touch the stuff. So I went right over to Big Poppy's locker and I just like put on all his stuff, like his shirt and his hat and I was like, <laughs> and finally someone like kind of timidly was like, ma'am, please don't touch the things in here. And I was like, oh, that makes sense, right? I'll take everything off. My single is called Better Place and it's about kind of make a tribute to the person that lightens up your world a little bit and makes it a little easier when things are hard. So we did a social experiment where we asked my fans and anyone who wanted to participate to basically listen to the song and stare at each other for three minutes, which is a pretty uncomfortable thing to do. And it evoked all kinds of emotions. There was laughter and tears and there was some really beautiful moments of people connecting. And we kind of filmed the whole thing. I filmed it behind a screen and then surprised people halfway through. Everyone was really excited. My fans were excited. There was actually a couple that didn't know who I was, who had kind of just was participating because it seemed like a cool thing. And so I walked out like ready to see their faces light up and they were kind of like, who's this lady interrupting our shot? I'm so excited. I'm going to sing my song, Fight Song, while everyone is holding up their signs um, for Stand Up To Cancer. And I'm gonna do a tribute. Throughout the past year and a half, I've met the most courageous people who've been inspired by a song that I wrote when I needed hope. And their stories and their courage and their fight has really blown me away and touched me and reminded me of just how strong we can be when we feel the most vulnerable. And their stories are the reason that I stand up. Everybody has a reason to stand up. What's yours?